Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Women around the world unite, unite against this happening. All right, guys, tell me, does this happen at your house? I don't know why. I don't know why they haven't learned that there's this miracle thing that can be done. Look, let me show you how it works. Anybody that leaves one looking like this, look, guys, you just remove it. And then guess what, guys? You put another one on top. That's a public service announcement for the day. David, honey, if you're watching this video, it's as simple as that, babe. All right, let's get started with this meal prep. All right, guys, sorry about that. I just had to jab somebody. Uh, uh, who does this, guys? 13 years later, it's still happening. I don't know. All right, we're gonna do some meal plan. We're gonna do some meal plan. Meal prep, meal plan, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so now that the chastising is a totally out of the way, hey, Daisy, let's go ahead and get started with our meal prep today. It is Wednesday the 27th. It's 1135. We have 12,768 steps. Let me tell you some more about that exercise or today's exercise. Hi, Daisy. Four and a half miles walking and what, 12 and a half 12 and a quarter i don't know 12 and something on the bike so whoo guys what a workout so that's what i do every day try to get some walking or bike riding and or both try to get out there early because this texas heat is a beast all right so what are we doing today guys we are meal prepping and here's a lot of the things that i will be meal prepping with it doesn't look like much yet but we'll see what all we can get out of this, all right? So the bacon I will be using for two recipes, at least two recipes. Also, we're gonna go ahead and get that going. I need to make some more pink Himalayan salt. If you've not done Soleil water, guys, uh, check in the upper right-hand corner. You'll find a link to how to make Soleil water and as well as the benefits, all the trace minerals that are inside. Um, I think like 86 trace minerals, guys. So wonderful, wonderful thing for you to be using with your ketogenic way of eating. And also if you are a carnivore, great thing to keep in your uh, regimen. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And uh, yeah, so what do we have? We have ground meat for tacos for Matthew. I'm gonna do some roll-ups with this and I'll try, I, I saw, I don't know if it was Pinterest or where, but I saw someone doing these and I thought what a great idea to take this as a roll up and cooking it. So we're gonna try that. Uh, I need to use these before they go bad. I've already cooked two of these. Uh, I'm gonna do something with some more liver. I'm gonna do something with some chorizo. Here's that pork dowel. We're gonna get started with that. All right guys, meal prepping, here we go. All right guys, meal prep, here we are. We are almost done with our bacon. I still need something to do with my eggs. I've used a portion of these. I'm about to do a recipe with this. And here we go. Check this out. This will be coming up in a recipe. Look how beautiful these are. This is the uh, jowls. Then we have this liver with um, serrano peppers. Here's some sweet little peppers as well as some red onion. Guys, throw this on top of some Runny eggs, delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm also trying the uh, jowl bacon inside a skillet. And then I have some chorizo in the background. So there we go. Meal prep. All right, guys, meal prep is done. Look at all this wonderful liquid gold, bacon gold. This is the drippings from the one package of bacon that I cooked. And then we have the cream cheese and chorizo. This would be great, guys, to warm up a little bit, dip in some um, pork rinds and great snack. Look at these beautiful pork jowl bacon. Oh my gosh, can't wait to actually dig into that. Be a video for these. These are, oh my gosh, bacon, bacon, bacon and liver, yes. And then this is a liver dish. There's not a recipe for this, but it's just simply uh, liver cooked in some bacon drippings with some red peppers as well as uh, serranos and onions. Here's the bacon that I cooked. Here's the hamburger meat for Matthew that I cooked. You'll have a recipe for this. Those two go together. And lastly, guys, check this out. This is a deli melt that I made. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to eat that. And then lastly, guys, on my George Foreman grill, when I finish my last batch of bacon, I always just turn my machine off and leave the bacon on there for the last batch to make a really crispy batch. This will make my son Matthew very happy, and David too. 
And I almost forgot, guys, the chocolate. Here are those four tins of chocolate. I've got them all chopped up, ready to go in two bags. That goes off to the freezer. And let me just show you how pretty they are, guys. Check it out. Isn't that a pretty piece of fudge? Woo, look at that. It is so creamy and delicious. Ah, yummy. And last but not least, guys, the away water. That'll be ready tomorrow. And there we go. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, All right. guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Kiss my teeth.